Hello? Everybody? Yep. Hello? All right, guys. Three, two, one, and we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Wid Podcast. I'm your host, John. With me today are my four friends. Go ahead and introdu- introduce yourselves, guys. Guys? Who goes Hi. first? Hello? Uh, Troy, you're first. Fuck it. Oh, okay. I guess I'm first. My name's Troy the Arsewhooper. I do stuff. I make things. And I'm the first one to introduce myself. Yeah. Sean? This is Gurno P. And work is trying to kill me. And I have proof of such. Evan? Yes. I'm a death metal bard. And I did stuff. And it was cool, I guess. And Tori. Hi, I'm Tori. And I was at Alcon this weekend, so got some stories for you there. All right, guys. This is episode quattro. Good stuff, good stuff. How are we all doing today? It's a I day. Was, uh, um, well, I was doing great. Um, yeah, I had a very quote-unquote fun day at work. Got home. And, um, yeah, they decided to take... Like one of my days off and make me come in at 7 a.m. on a Saturday, which I immediately have to go and release and immediately just try to call off. Uh, I'm not doing it. I can't. I can't deal with these. Schedules getting consistencies, bro. They're affecting my sleep. And sleeping is power. All right, guys. So this week, I'm going to make a little tag towards the bad cast. Hopefully, they're, hopefully they review our podcast this week. If not, well... Sorry, guys, but quick shout-out to Mike, Fred, and Levi. Guys, be gentle with us. This is our first time ever doing a podcast of such sorts, or fourth time, so be gentle, senpais. All right. Last week we had challenges. What were they? Because I have no freaking clue. Me neither. Okay. I told you guys to play Can Your Pet. Oh, yeah. Did any of you do it? Yeah. No, but I I played it before. (laughs) You made me kill a chicken that I fucking loved and fed and bathed. <laughs> so okay. Thank you. I played that. I think I talked to you about it right after I played it like four times. I didn't get the point of the game after a while. I was keeping the chicken alive and then I just said, fuck it. I, I let it die. Is there a point to this game? Pretty much just to be completely shocked when you hit the can button. Yes. Ah. Uh. Well, you, you think, because it looks like a bicycle. And so you think, oh, he's going to go for a bike ride. And then it turns over. It turns out it's a saw. The, and so, the, there, was like a, there was like a video game console. Is there anything to that? Or is it just there for like no reason at all? No reason at all. Just kind of makes you think, oh, this can't be the end. Because I still have one more thing to do. This video game console, apparently. It's, it's all part of the illusion. Ah, uh, well. In the, in the words of Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. It's a tarp. It's a tarp. Okay. It's a carp. It's a carp. Troy, I think you had to watch Gurren Lagann. Did you do it? No. Again? Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You're really adamant in avoiding this. No, no. I just was really busy with the whole, you know, show thing, which unfortunately didn't pay off so well. But, uh, yeah. Evan, did you have did you have any challenges for us, or did you have a challenge? I don't even remember. Uh, I think I asked for people to play Calm Time. I don't know if anybody remember that. I oh, I did. I did not remember I, that at all. I, I did not scared. remember. Yeah, yeah, that was a fun game. That was a fun game getting to kill innocent people in a house when they were bothering me while I was trying to sleep. That, yes. that was great. That sounds horrible. That That's pretty much the game. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it that is. That sounds fun. No. Oh. Uh... Troy, did you challenge us to do anything? I don't even remember. Uh, I don't remember either. Sean, I believe I... Troy. Oh. I believe Troy couldn't do the challenges because he still had to do that challenge. And he still hasn't done it, so he's still penalized. Yeah. I believe I asked um, I asked our good old friend Death Metal Bard here to read Rectify Anonymity, which was that horrible Pokemon fanfic that I talked about and on last I... time. And and I read it. I read it. And I read it too. I did not. Comments on that horrible fanfic. 
Uh, I want to say it was. I was like, eh. Uh, of course, of course. Like, I think maybe I'm a little. Uh, I'm desensitized to that stuff, so that stuff doesn't bother me. It. I. I'm honestly surprised people are are freaked out that much by this story because it's honestly not that bad. I've I've read and I've I've read way worse stuff that has happened in real life than like yeah. that. Well, as I talked about, like through chat logs extensively, there's people that write stuff for the sake of writing stuff. I've done it, and I'm pretty sure a couple of y'all have done it. But this guy wrote it as an intended fantasy that he has. He inserted himself in the story. Well then, Tori, any comments on it? Uh, at first, I was having the same reaction. Like at first, I'm like, "Oh, this is bad," but just the run of the mill bad. And then at some point, I was just like, "I don't know," just snapped. It's like, "Oh, that's it! I can't take this." Uh. No, I. Part- oh, I, I remember my poem. My poem was like, "Okay, I feel like a nurse." No. Would kind of know. It's like, oh, what happened to this Pokemon? I think you know. I think you know, nurse. Stuff like that doesn't happen in the Pokemon universe that often that we know of, so it's hard to identify. And I well, can't there believe. Well, are things that nurses see that, well, you don't hear about it, but the nurse gets it and it's like, yep, Thursday. And I can't believe I'm playing like Pokemon CSI right now. Jeez. Holy crap. That's a new one for me. Uh, Sean, did you check for poop? Did I check? Oh. Yeah, I went there. I went there. Uh Oh. I went there for old jokes. Just a round of applause. Oh yeah. (laughs) Just a round of just a round of applause. Oh god, this this clapping this clapping sucks. Oh shit. (laughs) Um, Well, that that joke sucked. What do you expect? Uh, and, and, I, and I think I challenged you guys to watch the One Piece. How far do we get? I I'm not watching One Piece. Okay. Like me neither. Okay. Yeah, I'm not I've already that. like six episodes. I've already seen like up to the freaking um, the Arlong arc. Really? Wow. I'll have uh, you, I'll have you know I'm caught up. I wow. couldn't do it. I've been watching. I couldn't One Piece. do it. I've been watching One Piece like a dedicated fan, so I'm caught up. It's I call crazy. shenanigans. No, that's don't. not fair. No, no, no. I, I started One Piece from the start, so you know what? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. I'm not doing it. Okay. It's not happening. All right, guys. So we have a community challenge before we go into new challenges, and I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh no. This is this is sent from an anonymous, but I know. I, okay, I'm gonna give it. The, I'm not gonna give away their identity, but I know who they are, and I hate this person for it. Hey guys, this week on Whip, I challenge you to watch and or read a Yowie fangirl's favorite, and here's the name, I shit you not, Sensitive Pornograph. <gasps> Too late. Already saw it. Okay. Is it funny? No. I'm... It's sweet. It's so, Sensitive <clears throat> Pornograph. Yes. Yeah, so Writing good. that on things I'm going to watch once and hate myself for doing it later on. So guys, we have to watch pretty much gay porn. Yeah, pretty much. That's kind of old school. H- how old school? Like, is it like Yowie Han old school or is it like Boku no Pico new old school? Uh, it's older than Boku no Pico. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh fuck. Let me let me see how old it is because I remember this from a long time ago. Well, Tori's looking that up, guys. Any new challenges? Uh, Evan, you start any challenges for us this week? Uh, let's see. Uh, honestly, I would just say look for really horrible, uh, like, short films on YouTube or whatever and just watch those and just see how, like, just find the most fucked up one you can. Honestly, that's my challenge. I think I have, and I think I've already beat you to a lot of it. 
I'm not sure what I've seen lately. Oh my god! But they seem to blur in and out and then. Oh, what are you? Out. What are you, Sean, what are you, Sean, what are you talking about? Horrible fucking um, YouTube videos, like fucked up YouTube videos. Um, no, I mean I've I've already seen a couple, and I can just watch a couple from the Young Turks clips that I've watched already. And um, but it, I was I wasn't watching like fucked up horrible. I was, I, I was watching like real fucked up horrible stuff, like stuff that's happening in other countries and shit. Ah. I mean. The latest one I watched was, I think, um, ISIS setting a person on fire and filming it all the way full, all the way through. That sounds kind of tame for ISIS. That does sound pretty tame. Uh, look up, try looking up some of the Mexico stuff. That stuff's pretty brutal. Okay, no. I saw one of those. No more. No, well, no. Wait, wait, wait. The Mexico stuff? Yeah. Yeah, the stuff going on in Mexico right now is fucking crazy. Yeah, they yeah. they do it with the intention of being extra fucked up. I like know. nobody nobody can top this. And they do it. All right. Oh, boy. All well, right. I what? found the year that Sensitive Pornograph came out. What year was it? It was 2004. Oh jeez. That was well. Okay, it was December of 2004, so it was more like 10 years ago, rather than 11. Oh, no. This is gonna be harsh. I already feel it. I'm really feeling it, guys. Tori, any challenges this week? Okay. Um, mainly my challenges are, if you haven't seen this already, then do it. Okay, uh, Over the Garden Wall. Uh, I've seen it. I've seen Sounds it. Sounds familiar. Okay, I'll watch it. Yes, I don't know what it, it is. is good. Potatoes a, and molasses. Yes. Da, 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 Please da. just ask us the warm and soft like puppies and socks. <laughs> oh. I, I feel like I'm going to hate this too. Sean, any challenges this week? Um, I can just like tack something on to Death Metal Arts Challenge and it's, it's not like, um, Go find a really fucked up YouTube clip. It's go find an excruciatingly fucked up horror film or psychological film. Um, a Serbian film doesn't count. <laughs> the more y'all keep saying this, the more I just want to tell y'all to watch my video, The Crossing, which isn't out yet, but still. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, I got some video. I got some movies. Okay, guys, this week I got a fun challenge. Y'all, y'all will love this. So, okay. In lieu of recent news that came out recently, I'm gonna challenge y'all to watch a Mel Brooks film. But what in particular? Is it I, Men in Tights? No, I fucking love that movie, but no. Look up the movie History of the World Part One. I already seen it. Well, that sounds really familiar. Uh, well, really darn it! Well, I haven't seen it, but I wanted to see it, well, so I will do that challenge happily. But you know, the Inquisition. Da, 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 da. It's like a two, two almost a three hour movie, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a long movie, but it's super good. It's a, it's great. It's great comp. <laughs> yes, but uh, if you've seen it, rewatch it. If you haven't seen it, watch it. it. It's definitely one of those classics up there. Like it's it's all it's like literally just stupid humor, but you'll you'll love it. Yeah, I know Mel Brooks. I know his sense of humor. Cool, cool. Yeah, it, it's worth. To watch. It's to watch. All right, guys. So, I know everybody had a busy weekend, right? Yes. Pretty much. Uh -huh. So, what did we do this weekend? Sean, you don't get to you don't get to say anything until these guys go. Gotcha. Troy, what did you do this weekend? I went to GatoCon. How was that? Dead. Okay. Elaborate. Nobody showed up. Like. Only a couple people showed up, and it made me sad, because normally that con's a lot more lively. Were there any horror stories from this con? No. Nothing, just, bad, nothing bad happened? Well, I mean, they're not really horror stories. It's just like, hey, I had this really awesome show planned, and we executed it really well, but it started to an empty crowd. Woo. Mm. You seem very, very discontent. I'm extremely discontent. Do you need a hug? No. Were there tumbleweeds? Probably. Yes. 
Because it's Kingsville. Uh, That's where King Ranch is. Of course, there's tumbleweed. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The, right. tum- the tumbleweeds should have been able to, you know, they could have been at the convention. I mean, did you count the tumbleweeds? They paid money to go, right? No, Evan. Uh, Tori, what did you do? I went to OwlCon this weekend, which was a gaming convention here at Rice University, where I go. I volunteered for two shifts, so I got free admission. And I tried LARPing for the first time ever. And it was intense. It was more intense than I anticipated. Like, okay, so first LARP, it was a steampunk LARP. And I'm in my little, like... Um, little house on the prairie type dress that I made myself and so I go up there for a character I'm like do you you have anything just like maybe a barmaid or something like that something simple I get prostitute (laughs) what (laughs) What? I was a prostitute named Peaches Monique and hold up hold up hold up you were called Peaches Monique yes Okay, wow. go on, go go on. I, 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 I'm curious. I'm just listening okay. at this point. Okay, so LARPs, LARPs are interesting, because at first, like, okay, you, st- you get your character, you meet, like, the other characters who yours are associated with, and I met my madam, she was really nice, and I met my fellow prostitute, his name was Ganymede, of course. Wait, wait, and wait, wait, wait. Danny Mead or Danny Mead? Danny Mead. Oh god, I heard Danny Mead. No. <laughs> okay, so after, okay, so you kind of just start the game. It starts out really chill, just kind of talking to people. But, like, I don't know. It was my first LARP, so I was just, like, really quiet and kind of shy and nervous. Like, uh, I'm nervous. But then things get intense really quickly. Like, things start happening. Since this was a steampunk one, there was just, like, um, there was deals going on between, like, there was this really drunk doctor and there was a congressman. Okay, but long story short, it ended up with this rocket that people had been invested in going into space. And the rocket was, okay, PVC pipes constructed together and covered with trash bags with the Lone Star flag on it that the group made before the game started. (laughs) And it was going to the moon, but I don't know, because here's the thing. Sometimes with LARPs, like, things are going on and you're not there to hear it. So it's just like, oh, great, now it's like high school again, where apparently there's drama, but I was off somewhere else, so I didn't catch what was going on. But apparently the rocket didn't have enough funeral didn't have enough fuel to come back. So it, the LARP ended with, like, some of the people going off into space, and we don't know if we're, they're going to come back. That's the setup for their LARP next year. Imagination. <laughs> yeah, but, like, earlier, um, I was checking out the um, the spacecraft. Like, once I saw it, I'm like, what? So I went in to look inside, and my madam was like, Peaches! Peaches, get back here! You may not go to the moon! This and... sounds so bad. <laughs> this that sounds... was fun, though. That's a bad hooker trying to go to the moon. <laughs> See, when you said LARP, I got excited. I'm thinking, oh, sweet, Tori's getting a fucking foam sword and hitting people. I no. didn't expect this. I didn't expect prostitutes. Going to you the moon. You, you mean you weren't expecting the literal definition of LARP minus the medieval stuff? Yes. Well, these yeah, are not the medieval moon. LARPs. I didn't sign up for that. Okay. And then there was another LARP. Okay, the next one was more fun. This was a call for a uh, call of Cthulhu LARP the next mm. day. And this time, okay, there was a wedding going on, and I was one of the bridesmaids. I was one of her friends, and. Um, so we had sort of this wedding. It, it felt kind of real. It was really nice. <laughs> and did she catch the bouquet? No. She, did, she didn't throw the bouquet. Huh. That whore. 
anyway, so um, so she was like from like a really rich family, and um, they lived they lived in Alabama, but the groom was from New Orleans, but he had a shady past, and like, okay, once again, like they make these really long, kind of complicated plots and characters, but basically the grandfather a long time ago uh there was like this underwater sea witch or whatever that the grandfather hooked up with and so all of his children were like half sea monster and then the grandchildren they were descended from that and that was their okay that's their their real grandmother was like in charge of the underwater underworld and this is so freaking painful oh my god (laughs) Hey, that's Lovecraft for you. That's Lovecraft. So, so who got yeah, to play just... Cthulhu? No, no, no. That's not Lovecraft. That's Lovecraft fan fiction. Uh, <laughs> hey, this is so freaking painful. I'm so sorry, Tori. It, it was more fun. Like, okay, the worst part of it was just my shoes. I have these terrible <laughs> cheap shoes that were killing my feet. So it would have been more fun if I had better nice shoes. You know, I loved you're not concerned about the, you know the plot or the story or anything. That that wasn't the bother. It was the shoes. It was hands down the shoes. That was the shoes. most. Well, imagine thing, you're just trying to walk thing. around. You're trying to have fun. You're trying to talk to people, and then something keeps stabbing your feet. I. You know what? I'd rather have my feet stabbed than hear a plot about sea witches. Because this is that. I, I heard Call of Cthulhu, I was getting excited, and then I heard Sea Witches, and I was like, nope. Well, okay, it might not have been Sea Witches. I don't remember exactly what they were, but it had to do with underwater and the supernatural. It was probably the Children of Dagon, probably. She is. Maybe, yeah. Evan, what about you? Hey. What did you do this yeah. weekend? Uh, I went to Houston for, like... Uh, my like half birthday present, I guess. Like downtown Houston? No, like I went up to Houston. I went to go see the uh, musical, uh, The Book of Mormon. Ooh. At the Hobby Center. Some yes. Lucky. And how was that? Oh, it was it was really good. Unfortunately, I was really sick. So. I was really out of it a lot of the times, but it was it was still enjoyable. And what else did you up do you up there? I know you had stories to tell. Oh yeah, I went. Uh, I found this uh, chocolate place. It's called Cocoa and Cardamom, something like that. And they have these really really nice chocolates. And they had chocolates from like different places. They had some from like Iceland, uh, England, the Philippines, Vietnam, and they had authentic Mexican chocolate from Mexico. Did it taste like blood? No, I didn't get that one. I got the one with uh, I got the one with uh, with uh, cocoa, uh, coffee beans from a uh, from Waka, something like that. What about your breakfast? Ah, uh, I see. You said you had like a breakfast thing. Or yeah, something? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my sister uh, took me and my mom uh, and I to this place called the uh, Breakfast Club with a K. <gasps> oh, I've been there. Don't you forget <laughs> about me? Uh, it was like the best. It was the best food ever. It it was. Uh, it's run by. Uh, there's a lot of. Uh, let's see. It's basically like a soul food place. It is a soul food place. It's yeah. a soul food breakfast place. And it's always packed. You have to stand in yeah. a really long line. Like, we and were, that's even we, if you get there early. Yeah, we were lucky. There was nobody. There was like, there, we were the first, we, we were one of the first ones to get in line. Like, we, we got in quick. And uh, we had, uh, me and my sister, we had the chicken and waffles. Oh my goodness! Oh, and it was, oh, uh, it was so good. The chicken was delicious. It was, oh, it was so mouth watering. And oh. the waffle was delicious. I bought a shirt from them. That's and they were, <laughs> no, really, I have the shirt. Oh, I, sorry, the, the the delivery of that <laughs> sentence. It was so good. I bought a shirt. I was just about to be like, oh, because it's like describe the chicken. Now, now, what are you wearing? <laughs> Hey, just like, hey, just... hey, 
cake. When when places have food that's that good, you tell them you buy the I, shirt. Want, I buy the shirt because I want people to know that this place is really good and they need to go to it because it's an experience. Oh, but dude, you were downtown. <laughs> I was there too. We were just like less of a mile of each other. Oh, cool. What a coincidence. Oh, oh, one more thing, one more thing. Uh, at the Book of Mormon show, I got a... Ugh. I got a little character from the show. It's the I have the magical fuck frog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Yes, the, it, it's I love it. I love it so much. It's so cool. Magical. Now I can. Yes, yeah. it's the magical fuck frog that Joseph Smith has sex with to get rid of his AIDS. Oh, man. That is beautiful. Yes, it is. It is so beautiful. You know what? I love the Book of Mormon, but man, the shit that comes out of that play. Well, I mean, it's by the South Park people. I've never it's seen not, it, dude. I, I know it. I, I want to see it so bad. No, you have to watch it. It's really good. It's really good. I want to see it. I think I think they there's been a rumor that they're going to make it into a movie either this year or next year, oh, I think. God. I would love that. Or just a DVD. Shot. Well, it could work. I mean, like, it's not super... Okay, yeah, there's some effects. There's a spooky Mormon hell dream, but it's not It's not like Wicked, where it's like, okay, we have to create this whole Oz place. CG. Yeah, you have to CG the whole thing and make it look beautiful versus all the other shitty Oz CGs from other Oz movies. So, yeah. Sean, what have you been up to? Well, besides work, I came across the game at an HEB, and it's a pretty good game. Um, think, I think y'all may have heard of it. I'm not sure, though. Um, no More Heroes 2, Desperate Struggle. Yes. The Desperate oh. Struggles. How was I that? I have... I, I need... I have... When I have not been working, I have been... Nothing but playing that game. And, oh my god. I mean, I literally changed Esoteric Gaming Month to Suda 51 Appreciation Month just for the sole fact that I picked up that game. I'm away. And I am... How, how far am I? No, I'm away. How far am I into... Moe. How far along are you in the game? I beat it twice already. Uh, oh, first on mild and then on sweet. Bullshit. I've still oh. got bitter. And I I really recommend that if um, y'all haven't had a chance to play the game, download, at least try to find a copy of the soundtrack. Or if not, Look up the boss themes because they're like some of the best written music I've heard in a video game in quite some time. I think one of the best ones was the uh, I forgot her name. The, I think she was number number three, the Reaper. Oh my god, what's her um, name? That, uh, that's that's number Twilight. Four. It's like Moonlight something. And, yeah, Moonlight. Yeah. What was number? What was her number? Margaret Reaper. That is what they call me. Yeah, that's um. They call her Margaret Moonlight, and she's ranked number four. Ah, oh, who was number three then? Uh, number three was Captain Vladimir. Oh yeah, you're, that's right, that's right, that's right. It's been a while since I played that game. Still really. Yeah, it's it's just so. It really holds the test of time. I, I honestly have to say, I think like my favorite boss fights from that game would be Ryuji and. Margaret and Alice loved fighting Alice. Was uh, Ryuji the one who uh, summoned the dragon, or where you fought him like in the kung fu style type deal? Oh yeah, where you had like a duel with motorcycles, and then you have like an actual epic fight on like a cliff. It was just so great. It's <laughs> like one of the best fights ever done in the game. Yeah, but that that fight I felt was like really cheap because at the end he just gets shot. Well, it wasn't so much of the cheapness. It was more of a representation of Travis was 
more or less. That was a symbolism of Travis started honoring his foes instead of just outright killed them. Because if you notice from like the first game, he was a very bloodthirsty fucker. Oh, he yes. was like all about the all about the money, all about the berry and the moe. But it was at that time where he was like, this dude's like my equal. And I mean, how he got so excited when he won that little clash when Ryuji just kind of dropped to the ground. And then where he started hating Sylvia just a bit because, well, he and Sylvia is just a bitch throughout the entirety of the game. Yeah, she's a horrible character. A sexy, sexy character. Yeah, she, she's just... Nah, if you can have sex with a monster, okay, that's cool. Yeah, uh, but no, <laughs> I really didn't like that. I really don't like Sylvia at all as she uh, just totally flip floppy. But I mean, she had like some redeem. Can't really spoil the ending for those that are listening in. But I mean, when you get to it, you'll see like some sort of redemption. But eh, no, Shinobu had like more waifu material than freaking Sylvia did. <laughs> Yeah, but, Shin- <laughs> but but Shinobu was just like, I don't know. She was like creepy stalker, ish chick. Um, uh, a creepy a creepy stalker that would kill for you. I mean, yeah, exactly. That that's that's like you know no, that that's where you cross the line of nope. Creepy stalker, eh, killing no. Yeah, but but doing that, he's just picking up Henry Cooldown's sloppy seconds, yo. Uh-oh. By just by hooking up with Sylvia. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, I have to uh, I have to say for that uh, that like No More Heroes, uh, that's one of the games that I really, 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 really want a sequel to. Like we need a trilogy. It has to be a trilogy of that. Honestly. I thought uh, Killer's Dead was supposed to be the. I I read somewhere that Killer's Dead was supposed to be. A sequel, a sequel, but it just got like redcon to just its own game. Yeah, sadly. I mean, when I found out they were making like a Killer is Dead, I thought like, oh, cool, cool. That's gonna be like the sequel to Killer Seven that everybody freaking wants. And then it, it just t- turned out into its own game, and everybody's like, all right, it's weird, it's cool. Um, it's not that kind of doesn't live up to. The- doesn't live up to the reputation, yeah, but I mean, it, it's a cool game. It's not bad. I mean, it's like no, it's it's not. If I had to like rate the Suda Fifty One games I played, I mean, I can easily put together a top three list for you right now. I mean, No More Heroes, the No More Heroes series, Killer Seven, uh, Killer Seven, and freaking Flower Sun and Rain. It's not a bad list. Uh, at the bottom of my list is Lollipop Chainsaw, though. I hate that game. With a really? It, it is garbage, dude. Oh, man. But, but dude, I love the he... boss characters. The boss characters are my favorite part of that game. Dude, come on. A punk rock zombie, a hippie zombie, a, like, disco zombie, a black metal zombie. Dude, those are fucking awesome. Y- you know what killed it for me, though? Jessica Negri. Yeah, okay, I'll agree she with you on that one. Yeah, what? Jessica Negri. Who's she voice act? No, she's the that cosplay model lady. No, she's the cosplay model. She made like what happened was the game came out, it was kind of it was kind of like semi obscure oh. and then she cosplayed uh, Oh wait, hey. Yeah, I remember she wasn't yeah, she wasn't a voice actor. She did the whole thing. Yeah, she cosplayed God, that yeah, she cosplayed the, the the chick from that game, and then everybody, if, if everyone made a big deal about this <coughs> game, and then it just died out because I don't know what the fuck. But I hated the game as soon as as soon as she started doing this. Like, no, fuck, fuck that game. What can you say, Booth Babe Sale? It's unfortunate. Oh, by the way, she's doing an anime. You don't, if you don't, guys don't know that. Yeah, I'm aware. She's wait, doing, wait, she's doing wait, su- what? She's doing Super Sonico. No. Wait, she's gonna cosplay that? No, 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 no. She's gonna voice act Super oh. Sonico. Really? Yeah. But Super Sonico's not even that great. <laughs> Super Sonico is fan service incarnate, but she is gonna she's gonna voice act Super Sonico. 
guys. Well, I I guess if people want you know wank material, they may as well just get the lady that kind of embodies that. Hmm. Anime. Hey, uh, why not just on to fucking voice act and the thing as well too? So that way, you know, that's that's great fat material for all the weebs out there. You know. Hey, just saying. <laughs> I thought it was Vic Mignogna was the fat material. No, Dick Mignogna. Dick Mignogna. Let's get that straight. Hashtag Dick Mignogna. Dick Mignogna. Dick Mignogna. It still stands. Yeah, man. Seriously. It does. And... Oh, man. I just need to put also put out another fact before I ramble off for a bit. Kids, if you watch Heroes of Cosplay... You are not getting the full experience, and you're getting a very, 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 very horrible vibe, probably from watching it, just as Troy and I did. There's a story with that. Don't Wait, even get Troy and I sat started. down. And- please don't even get me started on that. Troy, 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 Troy. Please what? Share, please share. I don't want to. Please. I don't want I to. I will if you won't. Okay. Okay. So it's the first night the Heroes of Cosplay comes on. I've been on the phone having a phone conversation with Troy, just shooting the shit. And we're like, hey, let's just switch over to Heroes of Cosplay. Just watch at least one episode. The oh, very first anything, one. You know, the very first episode. Just, you know, get um, knowledge of what you hate. Have it down. So for about a good hour, I can't remember, it was an hour, an hour and a half, um, Trevor and I just kind of sat there from the distance. Just I could feel this slack-jawed and horrible silence on the other end as we were watching this. And I just remember Troy saying something along the lines of, that was the most painful piece of shit I have ever watched in my entire life, and I will never watch another episode. <laughs> and I pretty much agreed with him on that, and I just, I haven't watched it at all. Either. Yeah, me neither. And there's, like, there's like... Just the trailer, I'm like, oh dear. I thought it got cancelled. No. No? Um, what? I haven't heard anything about it. I don't know. To Wikipedia! It, it might be gone. I, I mean, no, you can't really trust Wikipedia. I don't know. Really, I don't, really can't. I don't care anymore. That show is the embodiment of everything that is wrong with co- with the cosplay world today, which only does nothing but further destroy what little strands we have left of it to the point where it's all about selling yourself, advertising yourself. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Let me treat other people like shit. Let me do stupid things. And be overly dramatic so that way I can get all the likes and all the views on Facebook so I can be famous. It's just no. No. Yeah, they did a good job. Absolutely. They did a good no. job. Um, can I finish? Jackass. Because it's it's interceding to your point. I'm not giving that show any praise, Troy. You know me well by now. Then I never give that show praise. If anything, I'm like the number one... I'm like number one Yaya Han shit talker amongst any crowded community you, I go to. You know, it's actually funny the whole Yaya Han thing because, like, apparently, because I don't, I don't bother with professional cosplayers, like I don't care. But uh, apparently, Yaya Han before Heroes of Cosplay was always like, I make my own stuff and all this and that. But then when we watched Heroes of Cosplay, every shot was. I make my boyfriend do everything. And she would literally say, I make my boyfriend do everything. He does all the cosplays. He makes it all for me. And then uh, apparently afterwards she got super pissed because she was trying to say that it was editing that made it look like she didn't do anything. So uh, that was that was interesting. Um, I don't have an actual opinion on any professional cosplayer. Like Yaya Han. I don't have my own opinion. There's mixed opinions everywhere. You know, a lot of people will talk shit about her. I've never met her. Is that uh, even like a job? Like, how do they get paid? Who pays them? Advertisements. 
So it's, they're basically paid to model. Yes. And yep. so it's a modeling gig. Kind of. Hmm. It's a it's a pretty big, strong out. Here's the thing that I, that I've noticed about about Yaya Han and then Jessica Negri. Jessica Negri, she gets paid to be a booth babe, so she will be the character. She will dance around. She will look pretty. People will go to the booth, be like, "Oh, you're so pretty," and then look at the booth. Sex sells. No, wait, it's boobs. unfortunate. Look at the boobs. That's exactly. how models work. Exactly. So what's but so weird about that? As as for as for for uh, for Yaya Han, she instead she has like a booth where she'll like sell stuff. It's kind of she she doesn't really do the booth babe thing like Jessica Negri does. She basically promotes her own brand. But uh, popular her sense popularity selling. No, no, no. Like she has like her brand and she makes like little products and stuff and she sells them. And that's one way that she makes money. And then there's also, basically, it's a it's a matter of the con itself will pay for appearance and all that. And then you have your own little booth and you sell merchandise, stuff that you've made or stuff like that. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like a special vendor because you don't pay for a vendor spot. Um, so it's. It's it's a popularity thing, and then there's YouTube where you get the ads and all that. But but uh, but yeah, like I said, I don't have an opinion on any of all that because you know you could talk to anybody. There's people who will they they will they'll meet a person and they'll have the shittiest opinion about them because the way that when they met them it was a shitty time, and then you have people like for example Missy when she met Yaya Han she had one of the most amazing experiences apparently apparently she was really cool. So I don't have an opinion. I have no reason to make an opinion. Um, there's mixed reviews. Um, and again, I don't I don't follow professional cosplayers. I don't care about professional cosplayers. Uh, Jessica Negri, you know, she she does her thing. I'm. I don't know. I feel. I, I've never heard her like when it comes to the whole Supersonica thing. I've never heard her like I don't even know what she sounds like. So I don't. She, I don't. She came out in uh, Ruby. I don't watch Ruby. Okay. I've okay. seen the first episode just to go. What is that? Uh, her voicing something else. It's. I don't know. I. I haven't. I haven't heard her voice. But I mean, if she's been in Ruby, then. That makes a bit more sense than assuming that you know she did a good enough job for somebody who watched Ruby to be like, okay, well, we want you to voice this. Let me just say this: it's not cringeworthy, but it's there. I've yet to watch it. Again, I don't know. I mean, just the thing that I was going to point out is the the idea of taking basically a popular model. And then putting them in a completely different field for, you know, kind of, kind of like a publicity thing, you know? Mm, I see. Well, she's cosplay Sonico, but there's this whole thing I've read that apparently she over-sexualizes Sonico. And it, it's, it's, a, it's a shitstorm, but when it comes down to it, Sonico... She over-sexualizes a lot of things, though. Yeah. But... And, I, again, I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to talk shit. I get it. People like to cosplay sexy things. None of my business. I'm not going to sit there and talk down on you. I don't like it. It's not my cup of tea. It annoys the shit out of me. But hey, you know, that's your thing. Do what you want. Okay, uh, John. Yeah. John, I got to ask you a quick question. Okay, you saw my Winter Soldier cosplay. Uh huh. I wasn't trying to make it a sexy cosplay, but in your opinion, did it look like I was trying to go for a sexy cosplay? Um, that's a loaded question, Tori. That's a loaded question. I don't want to answer. Oh, come on. No, I oh, seriously want to okay. know. Okay. Okay. Aside Hold on. From... What? You guys brought up an interesting little thing, and this is a question I want to pose to everybody right now, considering this is where this conversation led to, and some of the best things lead to when you take that detour to Albuquerque. I need. I would like to pose a question to everybody here: Is cosplay becoming an elitist sport? Yeah. Yes or no? It is. Yes. It's. That's what I've been saying, sort of. Yeah. I didn't quite get to that to that uh, yeah. part, but 
it's it's becoming a basically people get a huge big head and they go I'm better than you don't talk to me you're beneath me that's what happens when stuff gets popular that's it just happens to everything. You do anything enough, even if it's just as simple as a game. And then a lot of people do it, so they start competing to see who can do it better. Mm-hmm. That's that's just how things work. There's there's even times when I'm guilty of being kind of big headed, and sometimes I have to sit like sometimes I'll I'll sit there and I'll realize that I'm being kind of big headed about something. Like say for example, I see some cosplayer. And maybe we're not exactly friends or whatever. And I look at that, whatever they did, and I just automatically go, it's not bad, but I could do better. You know, that kind of thing. Well, and, then I th- and then I think to myself, and I'm like, is that confidence or is it arrogance? It's having an enemy. It's having someone you don't like, and then you just pick on every little thing about them. Well, just... My argument with that, Troy, is if, 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 you, if you honestly feel like you can do it better, I wouldn't say it's necessarily arrogance. I say it's a little more confidence. But if you like, if you honestly like, but if you know your abilities are not at that level, but you're saying it could be better, then that's arrogance in itself. Um, for me, cosplaying is becoming a latest thing. I, I'm not, I'm not a professional cosplayer. I don't cosplay as much anymore. Only because I'm a little self-conscious to cosplay again. Because I had a bad experience. Don't ever want to do. Don't kind of want to do it again. I want to go, kind of go back into it, but I feel like if I do something, people are gonna shit on it. So. Uh, what, uh, what incident was that? This was at Acon. Oh boy. It was a shit storm. Oh boy! Oh, oh my God! Yeah, it was, it was bad. It, oh, anything at Acon that happens is a shitstorm, and I'm—I mean, it was horrible bad. Basic premise of it: um, back then, when I was into Naruto, I went to the Naruto's. I did Shoji, uh, ship it in Shoji, and a fight broke out between a group of people, and I got cut up in the mix. Oh, no. Yeah, and it resulted in my wig getting torn off my head. And I getting like a huge fucking sock across the face. For what? I don't know. It was somebody arguing that somebody Naruto cosplay was better, and then mine was shit, and then blah blah blah. I was like, I don't give a fuck. And then like a bunch of Naruto entered, and it basically imagine Naruto without the, with all the crazy fighting, without the good animation. It was just a bunch of people throwing punches at each other, and I was like, oh Jesus. <laughs> it, was, it was really bad. Oh, save me, Ninja Jesus! Unlock your, unlock yeah. your final, your final chakra oh gate. This is so I have bad. To, I have to ask. Oh my god! Was a, was a Sasuke arrested during the incident? Because I've been seeing a lot of pictures of a lot of Sasuke's that are always arrested at conventions. No, 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 no. It wasn't okay. Not, funny enough, there wasn't a Sasuke arrested, but there was the Kakashi. I know a Sasuke who was arrested. It was Kakashi got arrested. Uh, Kakashi got arrested, and I think a who's uh, who's the guy with that orange mask? I forgot his name. Uh, Toby. Toby. Got Toby. Arrested. Yeah, I got two, a, a Kakashi and a Toby got arrested. Well, everyone else was kind of like scattered. But yeah, this was in, like in the ho- this was in the hotel, and oh Jesus fucking Christ, it was so- bad. So was this was this like uh, Ninja or Naruto versus Naruto or what? It was Naruto versus a Itachi versus a that guy the shark boy shark boy I forgot his name Kisame 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 Okay so so it, it was within the Naruto universe it wasn't like no it you know, was literally a bunch of Narutards I'm gonna call them Narutards just fighting amongst each other because apparently someone's cosplay was not as good as the other. I was just in the. I just happened to get in the mix because I was just looking around, and then I was like, "Oh shit!" Huh. Oh my god, I, that's pretty crazy. Oh. Like, that's I've so made crazy. a lot of it. Uh, I've I've made a lot of enemies in the cosplay world. I can tell you that much, and I've never had that happen to me. It was maybe I remember this being like a fifteen-person fight, and it was <laughs> bad. I didn't know what to do. I kind of just did the fetal position and just hoped for the best. <laughs> Aw, oh no! You ruined you ruined my imagination. I had this uh, I had this idea of you being like a super badass like fucking Choji ninja guy, and you were using that technique where you get like the wings and shit, and you were like 
bro, fucking bro, punching bro, people. I don't, that's, that's the I need... first thing. I don't want to get into a fight. I just want yeah, to man. You gotta you, you gotta turn into a butterfly. Bro, I was drunk. Also, I was really drunk, so I don't have my full motor <laughs> motor functions going on. Oh, Let man. me guys tell you something from firsthand experience. A fight may seem cool because you see it in the movies, but no, you look like a, as a you person look like a little bit in a couple of fights, <laughs> not by choice. Fights are not a fun thing, and they end with one of two things happening: one, you winning, and you having to explain to your their friends why you had to beat the hell out of them, or two, somebody calling the cops, and then you said person getting arrested, or both parties getting arrested. Also, because, there's you losing and being seriously injured, possibly. Yeah, that was my. Oh cos- yeah, Not that was my that. cosplay experience. I didn't want to do cosplays after that. I think this past RealmsCon was my first attempt to go back into it, but I'm still iffy about doing any more cosplays. That's just me. Fuck, oh, dude. I'm like the way cosplaying is these days. I'm like really. If I should put my Doctor Peace outfit together or not. And I really want to do it. Okay. I've memorized the song. Well, my uh, thing is that I... I... Sorry. Uh, oh. Who, who goes? I, I'll, I'll, I'll go first. I'll go first. Uh, honestly, for like stuff like that, I I tell people, you know what? I I do the cosplay. I do that shit for fun. That's how it's always been for me, and I've always been held, I've always been like self-conscious about my body and stuff, but I do it, and people give me shit looks. I tell them, give me shit looks. I don't give a fuck. You're just if you're upset about the fact that I'm enjoying cosplaying a character that I like or doing something that I like because I don't fit into your view of it being quote unquote good or elite. Then, you know, here's like two middle fingers. Go shove them up where I think your critique of me should be. I can pretty much agree with that. I mean, one of my cosplays that I do is Sheik from Legend of Zelda, and everybody knows that there's a huge debate about whether Sheik is a guy or a girl. Uh, it's a so when they see when they say, mm-hmm. you know, they go, "Oh, cool cosplay," but Sheik's not a guy. I go, "Ha ha, fuck you." Well, I'm sorry. We cannot just change change our body sex on command. I can. Well, uh, well hey, there's that, know, consider- and then there's there's also the fact that you know there's there's kind of a relevance thing. You know, mm-hmm. you got you got Sheik, who you know, even though is a female, yes, Zelda is a girl. We know this, but Sheik is an identity. It's I'm pretending to be a guy. So if you think. That me as Sheik in a cosplay is a guy. I'm doing my job right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Never mind. Uh, Sean, what did you? What were you gonna say? Um. Yeah. Tell you the truth. I mean, I've been on the shit end of cosplay, and I've been on the good end of cosplay, and I've really just kind of been debating whether I want to start doing it again. I mean, considering you know. There's, like, cons and stuff, but with cons, there's also, like, con drama and a bunch of other shit you have to deal with. And this year, I want to go back to cons, and I want to start doing it again. That's why I want to start, like, putting together a, a cosplay. And the thing is, what I do, I mean, with, with cosplay is I method act. I learn the character as much as possible. I did it when I cosplayed the 10th Doc. I did it when I cosplayed Constantine and everybody thought my fucking hair was orange. And it's just, it's one of those things where you kind of have to go, you know what, at the end of the day, I may not get everything right on the cosplay, but I'm still having fun and I'm still acting like the character. So That's the best part. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the good stuff behind it, really. Yeah, so, I mean, really just don't, don't really give a shit about what people think of you while you're cosplaying. That's not to say have like a pompous ass attitude about it. That just say have fun. Uh, enjoy yourself. And just get in the character. Just go with it like full force, 100%. But when you're in the hotel room, turn that shit off. So, because, you know, you don't want to choji yourself out a window. So, 
So I have a suggestion for cosplay. Troy, Troy and Sean, I got a suggestion for cosplay. So, okay. Yeah. We, we should do the Ballad of Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I'll be Ricky Bobby. One of you can be the French guy, and one of you be uh, can be the other the guy, other guy. I forgot his name. Holy shit. Cal. Cal Don Jr. Cal Don Jr. Who wants to be who? Sure, how's your French? Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, you okay, guys, uh, viewers on, oh, the, on the comments. And then, oh, go ahead. And who would I be? Would I be, um, let's see, there's his mom, there's his ex wife, and oh, there's the Amy Adams character. I could be her. Although, oh, I don't know. She was a ginger. I can't pull up being ginger. Uh, you could be. Fuck. I don't know. You, you, I'd probably be the grandma. Okay. Evan could be one of the kids. <laughs> I'm gonna go at you like a spider monkey. I'm gonna hop up on Mountain Dew. I threw Grandpa old, Chip's war medal off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's like my teacher asked me where the capital was. I said Tennessee. She said, no, that's wrong. I said, you got a lumpy butt. <laughs> God, God damn that! God damn that movie! God damn it. This derailed something fun, and I'm happy. So viewers, uh, on the comments below, if you think we should cosplay a Ricky Bobby set, say yes. And if you don't, give us give us any other ideas. Just please be gentle. Don't don't say anything way too crazy. I don't want to have to cosplay something from Love Live. I don't want to cosplay a Sailor Scout or anything like that. Please no. It's funny, it's during my wild. getting into character panel, there was actually, one of, one of the questions was like, what's what's a cosplay that you would absolutely never do, and a character that you would never act, absolutely portray? And uh, it, it was something along the lines of, of that, and they were basically like, you know, have you ever broken that, you know, wall? And my answer, you know, to them was like, well, you know, Something that I would never do is probably something from My Little Pony, except that I actually really enjoy the Hot Diggity Demon My Little Pony series. Okay. So, so to put a dark twist on it, I would actually be willing to do that to be like you know the Robo Dash or the freaking murderous Fluttershy. What about Pinkie Pie, the fucking uh, drug addict Pinkie Pie? No, I, I wouldn't do that. Okay. The the ones who caught my attention were the ones that I just mentioned. Like that shit's hilarious. <laughs> um, other than that, like characters that I, you know, hated, yet have broken that rule would be the Heath Ledger Joker. I fucking hate the Heath Ledger Joker, but I did it at DashCon. You know what is one cosplay I have done that only a few people have ever seen, and no one will ever see again? Sailor Mars. Huh. Yeah, that was a spur of the drunk moment cosplay. And that huh. one, that one got some pretty interesting reviews. Huh. So, yeah. So I'm noticing huh. you're doing a. I'm noticing that a lot of your decisions that you do during cons okay. involve alcohol. Yes. And somebody going, "Hey, that's a good idea." Yeah. And then you fall through with it. Okay. Background of that story. Um, a friend of mine who who I'm gonna be quite honest and no offense to her, she is a bigger girl. And um, she ironically had a Sailor Scout, Sailor Mars out here. And I decided that, oh, hey, that looks pretty neat. There's I think I knew who you're talking about. There's, no, you don't know her. You don't know her. And um, my friends were like, hey, John, there's some guys on the internet who, you know, they're big guys and they wear Sailor Scout outfits. Why don't you wear one? And I'm like, okay. So... I donned the outfit and walked out in the front of, and walked out on the comm floor in a Sailor Scout outfit with high heels. Huh. Goddamn. Fierce. N never, dude. That was fierce. Never have I ever got so many compliments from guys. It's funny, I mean it's you're talking you're talking to a guy who cosplayed his cloud in a dress and think it would be and thinks it would be funny to get like really buff and ripped and cosplay as like Hatsune Miku with like a full blown like blue beard. But uh, I'm not ripped. But I think that would be hilarious. Um, it's like, I have to say, I have to say, John, is that, hey, you know, 
if you rock it, you know, rock it, man. You know what I'm saying? Own it. The, the worst, like, exactly. Uh, the worst parts were uh, uh, my hairy legs made the costume look really awkward, and my hairy chest, like, since the shirt was kind of low cut, I guess, my fucking chest hair bumped out, and there was some <laughs> random con chick who walked up to me and put her hand in my chest hair and was just, like, fondling it. <laughs> That's just hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was just like, okay. Get, those are cons for you. They, the girls will fondle your chest hair. Oh, shit. Man. Never let me get drunk at cons ever again. No, we're going to make oh. you more drunk. This year at Sound Japan, if I happen to be, like, I don't know, give me something sexy, uh, I'll probably wear it. <laughs> everybody, everybody. Troy? Troy. Yes? Bring a dress. We're going to uh-huh. find Jonathan, and we're going to make him wear it. Okay, you make it make seem like... Make a pretty prom you, dress. You make it seem like I won't wear a dress. I've worn dresses. Come on, guys. No, but you wear it. Up the ante. Do kill a kill shit, and maybe we'll talk. <laughs> okay. Troy. That's another I thing that I find funny. Like, for example, have you seen the one of the one guy who uh, he does the kill a kill and he's got the full on beard and like the hairy chest? That shit's hilarious. Yes. Oh man, that's something I'd be daring. To, that'd be very daring to do. For for me especially. But you know, give me enough, give me enough alcohol in my system, and then we'll talk. Troy, bring the pasties. It's go time. I don't have any pasties. I don't even know where to get those. Spencer's. Okay, but yeah, going back, <laughs> going back to the original question, Tori, uh, what was your question? Something about you wearing this Winter Soldier cosplay? Oh, I thought you were purposely avoiding that. Okay, no, I, I uh, wasn't avoiding it. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, st- I'll straight up tell you what I think. But you know, we gotta, we gotta establish the, the, the main points. Okay, would you see that and think, oh, it's someone doing a sexy cosplay, or just a girl doing the Winter Soldier? Okay. And. Aside from the obvious that we both know is is present when you wear that outfit, you know the two the, the main plot the main plot that's there. Okay. It's not a sexy cosplay attempt. It's just a cosplay that happens to have very big plot. And guys, if you don't know what plot is, I hope you do. It's pretty obvious, like. Yeah. Oh, that's Tor- good. Tori, you have you have good plot. Thanks, dude. That's what I'm saying. So when you wear the cosplay, it's not necessarily a uh, sexy cosplay, but y- you just happen to have good plot. <laughs> there we I go. knew it. There we go. <laughs> I said it. I said it, guys. Okay. So, Valentine's Day is coming up. Everyone ready? I'm ready to get discount chocolate, if that's what you mean. Okay. Troy, Sean? Uh... I have to work this bullshit morning shift coming up if I can't get it released. But, yeah, I, I'm doing something for Valentine's Day with my special someone. <laughs> get a release. I don't even know when it is. Saturday. Saturday. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, Troy, really? I, I don't I do not do holidays. You, you don't do holidays? <laughs> nope. Uh, uh, not even Christmas. Uh, no, especially not Christmas. Not even, not even our. I fucking hate Christmas. Fuck you! It's my birthday. It's almost mine. It's my birthday. I am well, it's birthday. almost mine. Okay. It's almost mine. I missed too. it by an hour. I was born on the day of Christ. I am Christ. I was born an hour after the day of Christ. <laughs> oh, right. It and seems like Jonathan, you, Troy, and I had something happen or almost happened to us on Christmas Day. Mine, I am not, not legally able to talk about. <laughs> but, um, yeah, funny coincidence, right? You know? Funny coincidence, funny coincidence. Evan, are you ready for Valentine's Day? You mean Singles Appreciation Day? Yeah, pretty much. Guys, just everyone out there, just letting you know, I am a uh, very successful server m- uh, bartender slash podcaster slash student. I need some loving, please. That was a come very, on, guy. That was a very, 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 very hopeless pitch at love. I am, I am bad. Oh god, this this podcast derailed very fast. Oh shit. 
Well, also for Valentine's Day, I got some of these Captain America Valentines. I and, I've seen a few. And uh, they're relatively uh, benign, considering these are made for young boys to give to other little boys when they absolutely have to give everyone else in the class a Valentine. So, one says, hope your day is full of adventure, Valentine. And the other says, you are a true friend, Valentine. So they're friend zoning at the early ages. Good. Yeah, well, it's Steve Rogers, so yes. Hey, hey, Troy, I have something to ask you. Sure. Will you be mine? <laughs> I don't have the picture of Jesus on tab. Oh. Inside joke, I sent, <laughs> I sent Troy a uh, Hitler Valentine, and he sent me something back that made me lose my shit. <laughs> it was something along the lines like, you will love me or you will burn. <laughs> that, that, something along the lines of that, and I lost my shit when I saw that. I was drinking uh, I was drinking some, I was drinking a beer, and then I just, you know, it's, it's right over my laptop because of you, so fuck you, Troy. You're welcome. But yeah, Valentine's Day is coming up, and fuck, I don't know. What do people? If you have any plans out there, post it. Post it in the comments below. I don't know. Don't but, you know? Every, everybody's gonna go see Fifty Shades of Suck. Oh no. my god. Okay, no. going, in, going into news. Thank you for, thank you for the best seg. Thank you for the best segue ever. Going into news. Fifty Shades of Suck. Holy fuck! Who was that? What the fuck? Did you just have a heart attack? Oh, no, I was, I was, as soon as I heard that, I had to spring into action, because oh. I want to rant about that. God. Okay, oh, there, there oh boy. Lot, there was a lot of background noise, I got scared there. Fifty Shades of Grey. Let me just start by saying, I applaud any guy taking their girlfriend to go see that. Because in the oh, end, no. you will feel like an inadequate fuck after seeing that movie. Because your girlfriend will want you to do the freakiest of shits, and you will not be able to satisfy her. To tell you the truth, let me point this out, and it's something I've talked to, considering I have friends that are into kinky shit like that. It is the most inaccurate portrayal of the mm -hmm. BDSM community ever, ever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you want to be was... a real hero? Take her to go see The Last Five Years instead. That's, okay, it's sad, but hey, that's romantic. That's less torture. And it's a musical, so, like, she'll like it, and you'll get extra brownie points for going to a musical with her. Trust me, guys. If you want to go, you know, watch Fifty Shades of Grey, you go to fanfiction.net and go read the Twilight fanfiction, because that's pretty much what this sprang from. Yeah. Fan that's exactly what it Twilight. is. It's... Well, it got edited into a three-trilogy book of Suck, Yes, but by yeah. changing by changing names. So yeah, guys, if your if your girlfriend asks you to take take her to go see Fifty Shades of Grey, say no. Take her take her to go see SpongeBob. I want to go see it. Take her to see SpongeBob. Yeah. No 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 if you're gonna go take your girlfriend to go see Fifty, what? Hello? He's gone. He got oh God! It was, it was. It was. Oh God! It was. It was they so. Got him. It was so misogynistic oh that they him. that they they killed him. Fifty Shades of Holy Shit. That's it. That's our. That's our title. The Tumbler has got him. Holy crap! Oh God! Okay. I know they heard him like. Oh, they got to him before he could make that joke. It's like, I'm going to say someone really misogynistic right now, and before he could even finish... Fucking Tumblr killed him. But yeah, go see Spongebob. I saw it. It's it's bad, but it's a good bad. What about uh, oh. what about George, Lu George Lucas's movie, uh, Strange Magic? What? Okay, I my friend that, saw that, and I heard that one was it. pretty bad. My friend saw it, and she liked it, so I'm going to go see it, so we can have something to talk about. So, Evan, what about Strange Magic? I will not see anything done by George Lucas uh, unless it's Star Wars. Uh, from what I can tell, basically, it's it's kind of like this weird retelling of A Midsummer's Night's Dream. At least that's what I got from it. 
that's oh, really, God. really interesting. Because that, that story does is sound fucked up. That story's really fucked up, but okay. I like that story. I was in that it, play. Like, more or less, it's basically, there's this, like, goblin kind of fairy guy or something he's kind of like buggish and he's like i'm gonna take over this thing and there's like these fairies and they're like omg buffy mcferris is so hot i want his fairy peen and then one of them's like this kind of like sassy princess and she's like whatever i don't need a man i'm gonna go do some thing and then there's this like black fairy guy and they they have to get some kind of weird potion, and there's like a possum, and it, it, I'm like, what? <laughs> and there's like a possum. That sounds like the best portrayal of this movie. Troy, are you there? Or are you? Is he like out? Hello. Where the fuck did you I've, go? Is I've it, been here. Like I'm you? I'm genuinely confused because y'all are like, where do you go? Like I've I've been here. What? We, did the did we the tumblers get you? No, like I said what I said, and then y'all started freaking out, no, like because we didn't hear it at no, all. Dude. Really? You you're... cut off right then and there. Yeah. Huh. Okay, that that's confusing. Anyways, as I was going to say, then I will repeat it. Wait, wait, wait. Leave it like that. No. Leave it a No. No. Okay. No. Okay, fine. Fine, no. spoil the fun, spoil the mystery. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, you know, if you're going to go take your girlfriend to go see Fifty Shades of Grey, stick it up her butt instead. Yeah, I went there. You know what? I, that was so anticlimactic. That was so anticlimactic. The pause was better. The pause was better. The pause you know was so much better. <laughs> oh, Troy. Oh, like, you're going to, when this gets uploaded, you're going to hear that pause, and you're going to like it, too. It, it, it was fucking pr priceless, but um, yes, Fifty Shades of Grey coming out. Don't hashtag really... butt sex. No, no hashtag butt sex. Hashtag butt sex. Okay, fine. Hashtag. I'm Danny Sex Bang. It's 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 hashtag butt sex. Hashtag Troy wants butt sex. <laughs> mm, not really. Yes, you do. Okay. Not today. So, in other news, I don't know if anyone has any other news. Uh, has anyone heard about Mel Brooks wanting to do another movie? Spaceballs, yes. Spaceballs too. We need. Oh this. yes, yes we do. We need I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like the time has passed. Mel Brooks. Like, I'm the only person to make a dollar off of Hitler. Oh God, he's made more, <laughs> he's made more than a dollar off of Hitler. Mhm. Mm he has. He's made plenty of money off Hitler. I I really want him to see. I really want him to do another movie before he passes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, like another movie, but I don't I mean, know about another Spaceballs. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, Stanley Kubrick to make a last film right before he passed, and his last film was just, what the fuck? So I think Mel Brooks has every right to at least make one more film. One more film. And by the way, Tori, it's, it, it's, not out of, it's not out of time, because he plans to, he, I was reading something, he wants to release at the same time uh, The Force Awakens come out. So oh, that'd be, that'd be the, well, that's, that's that, good. That'd be, that'd, be funny, fun. that'd be the funniest shit ever. Just to see a Spaceballs movie and a Star Wars movie back to back. Oh, that would be great. That sounds really long, though. I have a Wait. relatively short Wait. attention span. How are you going to replace, um, freaking John Candy? You don't. Yeah, you don't. He was awesome. I loved him. I don't know. You can make you can make him have like make it something like he had kids. Yeah, I think so. He had puppies. Make uh, I think, uh, what's his name? The guy who played Olaf in, uh, Frozen, that guy. Oh, Josh Gad. Yeah, I bet you could, you could probably get him to be, like, a barfish character, because I think he could do it. He is if, funny. If, if you give him the right amount of, like, the right amount of material, he could be really funny. Yes, but we need another Mel Brooks movie. Mel Brooks, if you're listening to this, please make another movie. If you're by chance happen to like scour for podcasts at the early, early hours of the morning, please, please, for the love of God, make another well, movie. Well, Mel Brooks is like, what, a hundred and he's like a thousand years old. I'm pretty sure he would probably do that. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's immortal. I'm pretty he's sure he's immortal. Dude. No, dude, he's a vampire. No, dude, he's a he's wizard. He's a vampire. He's a Jewish wizard. He's the wandering Jew. No, oh, man, I'm telling you, he's a wizard. A wizard. A wizard. A wizard. Yes. Hashtag wizard. Oh man. Hell, you could even call him a Jewid. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh man. 
on Troy. <laughs> Troy, because of you, we're losing our two Jewish fans. There was two? You're a Jew. I am a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes the other one. <laughs> and I'm practically a Jew because I was raised Jehovah Witness, which is pretty much the same thing. Only they're the black sheep of the Jews because they also believe in Jesus. Doesn't make any no, sense, Troy, but whatever. Troy, but if they both believe in you Yahweh. You weren't raised as a Jew. Troy, you weren't what? raised as a Jew. You were raised brainwashed, okay? We'll just leave I it. I wasn't brainwashed. I, I was punished for not being brainwashed. Oh, so drink their Kool Aid. Why did we? Why did we go? Re- Somehow we went religious, didn't we? We always because go we religious. Mel Brooks. Jesus oh, and yeah. Hitler, man. Jesus, Jesus and Hitler. Jesus ex Hitler. Oh, Jesus ex Hitler. If we do a panel of San Japan, we need to read that. Oh, mm-hmm. Jesus Christ! I need to submit my panels. I, I I will go up there. You know what? I can't say this because I I will get in trouble. I was gonna say I'll go up there as Hitler. At the con and read this with you, but I, no, it's automatic. Don't you dare! Oh my god, that'd be the funniest. You talk about like, oh, I'm in the middle of this drama. I don't want to start drama. Oh, oh. And I'm then you so want to talk about dressing up like Hitler. Okay, I'll be Hitler on ice. <laughs> Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Don't don't just be regular Hitler. Okay, be the Hitler from freaking uh, Wolfenstein, the robot Hitler. Yes. Super yeah. Mega, Super Mega Death Hitler. Oh, yeah. be Robo Hitler. Oh, be here's what you can do. You can be Hitler, but then like just throw all this tomato sauce on your face, and you can be the how Hitler ended up in Inglorious Bastards. That's still Hitler. Yeah, but it's a dead Hitler. It's a Hitler whose face is now sauce. I don't want sauce all over my face. That sounds wrong. Like, mmm, that delicious dead Hitler sauce. I don't think there's any way of getting around going as Hitler to a con, but if I can pull it off, I will try. Uh, that is, this is... This is looking for trouble right here, but oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah, oh. that is not fucking... And that's just not good. Springtime for Hitler <laughs> and uh, Germany. I could be a gay Hitler. Huh. Well, it is Hitler ex Jesus. What gay or yes. Hitler? Hitler ex Jesus ex God ex frickin' their adopted son. I forget his name. Oh man, I wasn't even there for the second half. I just remember just we going. I remember that we just ran up to God's house and then God like getting losing his shit at us. Yeah, it 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 got it got worse but funnier. All right, guys. And other news. Uh, da, 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 da. People pooped. People pooped. No, uh, New 52. New 52 ending. Okay, fine, fine. We'll go to yours. New 52 is poop. No, yours poop. But it's ending. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, New 52. As in, uh, what was it? In June, they're gonna they're gonna kill off New 52, and they're gonna relaunch. I think. Good, because it's, it's garbage. Not that they're gonna. They're not gonna completely kill it off. They're just gonna lessen the appeal of it. As it, that's pretty much DC's way of saying we're gonna sweep this under the rug like it never happened. Good, because it's garbage. Yeah, well, very strong opinions, Troy. I know I have a good collection of it sitting in my closet that I just pick up and show as era pieces to my children whenever they come of age to show them, here, this is when DC started doing the cocaine again. Oh! This is when DC decided they wanted to pull a, a Sonic team. When DC started the cocaine after Marvel did cocaine for like all okay. through the sixties. Well, uh, okay, hold up. I, I I love DC, so I won't allow, I won't stand for this bashing. But y- you know, I do I love I do love DC, but sometimes comic companies love DC. Do crack. New Fifty Two. New Fifty Two is garbage. I'll, I'll I'll agree with that. Yeah, that's, New, New Fifty Two is what happens when DC goes. You know what? Let's. Let's play a LARPing game of how to be Sega in the late 2000s. No, they played LARP on how to be a prostitute. Okay, wait, but I do oh, have some on. news, though. After, um, I was reading the list of the things they're going to relaunch. They're going to re relaunch Batman again. They're just going to go back to basics with Batman. Um, and Basic also, bitch um, Batman. And also on a couple other things, they're also releasing um, Se- uh, Kid Super Friendly. Sh- Which one? They're also releasing like kid friendly titles as well, but the 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 most thing I'm excited about is um they're they're gonna start doing Secret Six again. Thank with you. With Dale Sloan, 
back at the helm of writing, Thank you. which is possibly like the best thing ever. And they're going to launch uh, a Bizarro comic Midnighter. and a Bat- Midnighter. Ooh, looking forward to that. Um, Batmite and Section oh. 8. Oh my goodness. And if you're not familiar with Section 8, I need all of you all to hop up on Google and type in Dog Welder. DC Dog Welder. What was it? There was, an, there was another title. There, a lot of titles are getting redone or getting or no, they're going to be they're going to continue under new artists or new uh what was it? Uh new directions are going to be taken for them, but they're not going to not going to get uh restarted. They're going to just be done. I know uh what's your what's your what's your face uh Superman's getting redone. Um, I heard he's done. getting a new power. He already has a new power, and I shit you not, his power makes him OP. So he was he, already OP. That's okay, annoying. Okay, no. Okay, no. okay his he, new power. Uh, uh, let me explain. He, I, I I read this. His new power is to whatever solar energy he has in him, to release it like a fucking solar flare, and boom. That's what he does. That's fucking End stupid. Game. End game. But here's where it's funnier. After he does said solar flare, he needs one day to recharge. So in what? What? And after that one day of time, he is technically a human. That's stupid. I can see why people don't like Superman, but if you want a good way of like killing off one of your your prime flagship superheroes, have him do that. Then on the one day he's human, have somebody that knows his identity go, ha ha, stab, dead. You know what I? Fa- you know what I found the best way to kill Superman? Kryptonite. No, the one time I forgot what movie it was, but there was one movie where the sun, which was his source of power, gave him cancer. What movie is this? Oh, it was it was one of the animated ones, but yeah, it I, gave him cancer. No, okay. Are you talking? About- it was a uh, Superman, uh, All Star Superman. Probably. It was the one where he got too close to the sun and absorbed way too much solar energy that his body couldn't keep up with it, and he just pretty much exploded. Yeah. We, we don't talk about All-Star anything. No. I still like the idea of him just getting skin cancer and dying. That's funny. Yeah, and I remember an All-Star Batman where Batman painted himself yellow just to freaking insult Green Lantern. You know what comic needs to get canceled, by the way? Gotham, uh, Gotham Academy. I That's thought a they were- thing? I thought no, that was a fan art. No, 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 okay. Oh. So Gotham Academy is basically... Kids in Gotham attending an academy, going through a bunch of hijinks at Gotham Academy. It is, yeah, I, I I thought that, that was a sounds... fan art. No, yeah. it's a, it's a legit comic. It is so fucking stupid. I bought the first issue thinking, oh, this will be interesting. It's a det- it's like a detective comic. It's really stupid. That also sounds terrifying. No, it's not. It, it was like the first comic just killed it. it. It wasn't interesting. It wasn't compelling. It was just teen drama. Well, I am happy to say that Constantine is also going to get relaunched under a new name, and they're actually going to have the Vertigo writers back, who uh, <gasps> oh, were part of the team. So, yeah, we're it's awesome. going to be called Constantine, Constantine the Hellblazer. So they just kind of are kind of going back to the original Vertigo name, kinda. But I'm really excited for it. Here are some new titles that are coming out that are going to be badass. Martian Manhunter is getting his own title. Cool. Oh. Cy- Cyborg, oh should, uh, Cyborg getting his own title. Interesting. Batman, also about time. Batman Beyond is getting his own final official title. That's not Batman Beyond Universe. Awesome. Cool. Uh, wow. Earth Two Society is going to be done. Um, half, I, half on it. I, I, Have they right. said how they were going to do Batman Beyond? Like whether it was going to be. Uh, there's no news. I only, I only heard that they're going to do a Black Canary series. Oh, I love her. That's awesome. Now, there's one series I am not excited about. What? Starfire. I hope she's not a whore anymore. Please tell me that they're going to cancel the fact that she turned into a complete whore in New 52. That pissed me off. Yes. Troy, yeah. They're, they are, they are doing a heavy fucking redesign after this whole New 52 debacle. Good. Because, like, that was, that was so fucking stupid. And then there was one person who wrote an article about how, uh, you know, basically considering how the Teen Titans is so popular, having Starfire a complete whore just gives a horrible image for, you know, little girls who are into Starfire because of this children's cartoon. And they were completely 100% right. That was bullshit. 
Uh-huh. No, there's one title well, I Well... Oh, go ahead. Yeah. But it's no longer going to be... Well, it's no longer going to be Red Hood and the Outlaws anymore, because Starfire is going to have her own thing. It's going to be Red Hood and Arsenal now for that comic. Yeah, that's so but uh, I saw... I saw the, what was that? What was that? I saw the redesign. <laughs> I'm echoing. Yeah, you are echoing. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay. We're good? Alright. That was a big Twilight Zone moment right there. Um, no, but I did see the redesign of Starfire... I do like it. It's not whorish anymore. She actually looks like what she almost originally looked like in the cartoon, actually, to tell you the truth. Huh. Um, so they're going with that design. They're not going back to the original design from the 80s, which would really be cool because I'd like to see a Starfire with like the, the fluffy, Afro-ish like hair again. That'd be really sweet. But sadly, it's not going to happen. All right, so other titles that I'm really excited about are going to be Dr. Fate. Yes. yes. Crossover with maybe... I, I'm hoping for a crossover with Constantine, because that shit was epic. That will be the greatest thing I will ever read, and I will need to read nothing else after I've read that. Well, in, I think in U52, Constantine... In uh, Earth 2, Constantine is Dr. Fate, I think. Oh. I re really don't like that twist when it came to that. I thought it was nice. But whatever, you know. Everyone has their opinion. Yours is shitty. Oh, okay, cool. Well, cool. yeah. You want to know? Also, know what the fuck moment was in Constantine? Um, when Constantine fucking became Shazam for like a few pages in an issue. Oh yeah, that, huh. was, that was weird. Um, and the last one is I, I'm a huge fan of the Green Lantern. We're getting a new Green Lantern title. Oh, another Lantern title. Excuse me. Green Lantern: The Lost Army. Mm. Awesome. No, okay, but my argument is we already have too many Lantern titles. We have Red Lantern, Yellow Lantern, Lar Fleece has been on and off. We have uh, Green Lantern Corpse, New Guardians, Green Lantern, and I know we've had we've had on and off Star Sapphire. We've had on and off Black Hand. We don't need another Green Lantern title. Just stop. I'm happy with Lar Fleece. Keep Lar Fleece, keep Green Lantern, and keep Red Lantern. There you go. That's that's covering your basic titles. You can integrate Kyle, you know, pretty much integrate White Lantern, Jesus, Kyle into any of the other series if they so please. What about Sinestro? Because he's such an easy Sinestro too. There you go. That, that's covering your basic Lantern course. But and yeah. they give Saint Walker his own comic if they've revived him from the dead. Yes. There's a oh. Oh, go ahead. Also, Saga came back last week, and oh yeah, that's good. It was it was so sad. Oh my gosh. I have not, I have not kept up with Saga. I literally just dropped it. Well, when did you drop it? Um, two, maybe two three weeks ago. Two three weeks ago. So, you just haven't read the new one. Yeah. Oh. But there's only been the one... Oh, my God. Do you want me to say what happened? No. Shut up. Ah, oh, fine. Okay. Um, you gotta pick it up again, though. I, I will. I will. I only got the book. I, I, I picked up the book, the hardcover book, but I have not even looked at it. I opened it, so that's the sad part. Uh, in other news, here's something that's kind of fucked up. Okay, does anyone know what swatting is? Yep. Oh, swatting? I was reading about that earlier. Swatting? Okay. Same here. So... There was a guy. I don't know. I really didn't really go up and go much too much into it because I thought this article was like fucking disgusting. Because I hate this. Um, there was some uh, popular popular Twitch player. I think his name is Koopa Troopa something something something. Um, Hold on. I, I think I still have the article on my phone. Let me pull it up real quick. Well, what happened was they called. They they, they swatted him, and it's it's really sad because. I, I, don't, I don't get I don't get why people do this. It's it's a fucked it's a fucked up practice, you know. It's it's because it's it's quote unquote funny. No, I mean you have fucking police. Say that. To, well, if it's quote unquote funny, say that to the kid that's about to serve like five years because of it. 
No, I mean it's not funny when you have kids get uh, have guns pointed at, have guns pointed at them and they're and they're they're innocent they're innocent and they're innocent and it's just it's sad. It's yeah. Just a, it's a sad thing. It's a waste of police man force and yeah. The thing is, man, it's just like with shit like that, it prank or not, it is so easy if you don't know what the hell is going on to trigger just some sort of unwarranted fire upon your house. I mean, they've got really lucky with this. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, it, anything about it else that it's like dismissible because they got really lucky with it. It's just, it's, it's a very disgusting thing. It's very fucking horrible to do. I mean, trust me, if I had SWAT team members at my fucking house right now, I'd be really pissed off and I'd be gunning for blood to figure out who the fuck did it. It's just, with something like that, and reading the article, the way, what happened, so many could have easily been shot, and so many could have been killed, and the fucking horrible thing about it is, it would have been filmed live, and that is not anything to see live at all. It's just, it's no good. It's no good to watch live anything, any sort of real life shooting or dismemberment or being burned alive or anything like that it's it's a very disgusting thing and just it's just the way the society the way it's being portrayed right now it's we live in such a vicarious society where you will see a wreck on the highway and on top of that you will see more people just parking their car to go snap a photo of it and drive off than for somebody to even call the police or anything like that and the, the sad thing is, uh, admit it or not, this generation's kids, they're a bunch of fucking shitheads when it comes to this shit. The trolling is just like, it's become this thing that's like synonymous with fucking terrorism now because it's being done by stupid ass fucking dipshits. Yeah. Matt, so, so, if, so, yeah, so if, uh, won't be a second longer. So if you got anything about that is don't fucking do it. Be be a fucking smart human being. Don't be a piece of shit. And my thing was, you know, a kid was inv a young kid was involved and the, I mean the guys as far as I know did nothing wrong. This this does has done nothing wrong. And it it breaks my heart to see his video when he says, you know, he's already like tearing up and saying that, you know, whatever you have against me is against me, but don't get my family involved. I, I mean, it broke my heart to see this guy, you know, just pour his heart out right there. It, it was, it's a tough thing to watch, man. I mean, especially when you go through that shit, it's, it's hard to like keep a calm composure and pretty much say, listen, I don't know why the fuck you did it, but if you got some sort of like grudge against me, put it against me not my family they don't deserve that shit just you take it out on me and nobody else it's a shame it's a really big shame okay so we're gonna try to segue out of this really sad topic does anyone else have any news uh oh. I, I oh i kind of do uh kanye west made an ass of himself yet again at the grammys that's <laughs> like his profession what did he but do? not Okay, okay, he did the fucking thing that he did to Taylor Swift, but he did it to Beck. What? Beck was at the Grammys? What? Yes, Beck. He got a he got an award. He I think he got like album of the year. I didn't even know he released an album this year. I know. I know, it shocked everyone. I know. Well, I was like loser baby, so why don't we kill him? Yeah, like that guy, he got album of the year, and then like Kanye West does the thing where he's all like, Beyonce should have got that. Well, actually, well, the thing did is... Did he seriously say it, Beyonce should have got that? Yeah, Someone, did. like, Again? it was pressing it on him. It's like, hey, hey, do you think that Beyonce should have gotten the best album? Because, like, of course, these, like, the paparazzi, they question, they push it out of them. So it'd be like, oh, they said that. It's like, yeah, after they goaded them into saying it, because they thought he was going to say it, because they know, oh, Kanye's going to say something so crazy. So what? I mean... And regardless or not if the guy has musical talent he's, he's still a douchebag he's a gay fish <laughs> he's, he's a gay fish married to a hobbit oh mm -hmm. what it's you a hobbit he's married the to a hobbit speaking yes. of 
Yeah, did you see that episode? Yeah. He's no. he's a gay fish who's married to a hobbit. I didn't see this episode. Oh. Like, it was the Photoshop just, episode. Just because she lives in a hole in the ground and she smokes a pipe, that doesn't make her a pot hobbit. Hold on, hold on a second. Bitch, bitch, are you sure you ain't a hobbit? Bitch, it's you a hobbit. <laughs> Someone sent me a link to this. I need to see this episode, please. Well, yeah, yeah. South Park, they, hey, they're... They post all their episodes online, like on their dude. Website. No, they don't anymore, dude. They like, don't uh, anymore? <laughs> no, if you go to the website, there's only like maybe 20 episodes tops that you can watch for free. The rest of them you have to have Hulu Plus. It's uh, fucking bullshit. Oh man. Any more news, guys? Oh, I got some news, and it actually, it's it comes from the weird parts of the internet that I seem to stumble upon in my feed and stories I just end up finding that are fucking hilarious. Um, there is a group in Taiwan that uh, is called Hand Angels. And what they do... Brace yourselves for this, guys. What they do is they provide a service of giving the physically disabled hand jobs. I knew it. As soon as you said hand angels, I'm but, like, I see what's But saying. there's there's a more sort of there's more to it than just meets the eye. We got to look at this at the end of the day. The disabled, they've got needs too. Yeah. Okay. But they can't express that in such a way. Mm-hmm. They what these people do is they're providing something. Something more on an intimate level, so that way at least a person can feel loved. That's nice. It's nice, There's, but it just just the idea kind of throws everyone off. Yeah, it, it has. It's thrown a lot of people off, and there's like a lot of people that are really, that are seriously up in arms against this. But, I mean, <laughs> to tell you the truth, I mean, it sounds like dirty on paper, but it's a little bit more altruistic than we think, to tell you the truth. Well then, I guess I'm going to Taiwan. Are you going to go in your wheelchair? I have. Are you wheel- going? I have a wheelchair. You should. I you, can't ju- move. Just make sure I'm that when you Taiwan. go in a wheelchair, wear a Superman costume or T-shirt. I w- just go to Thailand, man. But I don't want to get my dick chopped off. What? Never mind. It's, it's it's a filthy Frank joke. Oh, no, no oh wait. Yeah. Uh, yes. Filthy Frank. Yeah. Yes. I know what you mean. Yeah. It, it's a filthy Welcome Frank joke. Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 oh god. But uh, I uh, at one point I was physic- I was in a wheelchair because my my left knee is real, was real fucked up. But uh, Troy, if you give me your Christopher Christopher uh, Christopher Reeves outfit, I will wear it. I don't have it anymore. I sold it for two hundred dollars. Make me. <laughs> Make me. I will go there and I'll be. It like, was the best two hundred dollars I ever made, and I got some pretty damn awesome photos out of it of me in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. By the way, guys in the bandcast, if you've been listening for this long, we are horrible people. Just, just as a heads up. I am absolutely horrible. There is nothing. If it's funny, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like we're, we're horrible. that is my rule. That's why you're my boy, Troy. That's why you're my boy. We are, horrible, we are horrible people that joke about Hitler and wheelchairs and all this other shit. And goddamn. I'm a the opposite of Christopher Walken. Christopher Reeves. A lot happier just admitting that. Yeah. All right, guys. I think we're about just out about out of out of blah blah blah. blah. We're just out, about out of time. But I've actually got one thing from a a subscriber. Who wanted to share his rents? Would y'all care to hear this? Sure, why not? Sure. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Yo, guys, I'm listening to your whip episode 3 slash 2.5, whatever. I like it, but seriously, I got a rent on this shit. I mean, Kate Upton fucking naked, Game of War gone desperate. I mean, say what you want about Jessica Negri being a walking titty shot. But at least she doesn't have to get naked for people to buy games. In f- in fact, Negri is more subtle. I haven't seen her all the way naked for real, so my yeah, my two s- 
since on the Super Bowl commercials. Aside from Mad, aside from the Madden curse, biting Sherman in the ass. Yeah. Oh fuck! Hold on. Yeah. Uh, the face he made at the end. Now he. Now he thought I should have taken that money. Oh, and about Fifty Shades of Grey, the movie, which, which my girlfriend wants me to take her to see out of curiosity. I told her I would rather go see Magic Mike Double XL. <laughs> Hold on, there, there's a, there's a pause for this in this part. <clears throat> and pay to see that Fifty Shades and pay to see pay to see it that Fifty Shades of Grey, because we have alone time after the movie Fifty Shades of Grey. And not just me, I mean, like, any guy taking their women to see the movie, and they get lucky, we're going to feel guilty and shitty as men, like, and it's like a fuck, like in fucking lifetime of movies to dudes. Like, it sucks to the horny... Man, his his English is horrible, by the way. And it sucks the uh, hor- yeah. it, it sucks the horny out of you when the movie is a porn. But Magic Flight will get women to the point that will take their frustration out on us if we're lucky. And that is his rant. <laughs> okay, I need to pick some flaws as a, a ranter myself. One, when you want to really come at somebody, you want to make sure your grammar is proper. His English You want to make sure it's spot on. I had a hard you, time reading this. There, There is an autocorrect on your phone. If you have autocorrect, for the love of God, use it. Don't trust autocorrect. Auto especially if it's on an eye device. device. Shut up. Troy, shut up. Troy, no, shut it's, up. it's the truth. Shut, shut Seriously, up. anytime I try Troy, to type Troy, on the Troy. fucking iPad, it ruins me. <laughs> and don't trust the GPS hey, either. Troy. Okay, Sean, continue. Anyway, um, two? Come on, man. Really? Come on. You're gonna... You can start strong and then come at us with that weak sauce right at the end as a finisher. Dude, I've ran circles around people that ran track. I've literally made people cry. I can't really say much more because I feel like this will be wasted on you considering the fact that you probably aren't going to listen. And two, you're probably going to think you're right anyway, which is fine. It's common for a person to believe. But um, just remember, it's a lot harder to do work at the end of the day if you still have your head firmly up your ass. By the way, this is one of our subscribers, so go oh shit. I knew it, too. If you like, oh, well. hey, he sent us a letter. We just lost G- Jeez, Sean. Thank you, Sean, for scaring away our only subscriber who's decided to send us a message. Nah, no, man, straight uh, up. Subs- subscriber guy, like, you know, r- rebuttal, I mean, rebuttal with Sean. This. Start. I, I want to yeah. see a flame war with you and Sean. Please just go ahead. Send, yeah, man. Send me your if, message. You, I know who you are. Send you, me your message, and we, will, I will make this a flame war. Fine. Let us, this let us tough. have the Sean wars. <laughs> oh, yes. oh no! It is, it is the Godzilla, the Sean wars. Oh God! This is for you, you King Ghidorah. But I am a horrible individual, by the way. Yes, you are. <laughs> By the way, thank you, subscriber, for sending your um, your rants. If anyone has a rant or anything they want to have want us to have featured on the podcast, please do so. But yes, as a warning, please. we will criticize every part of it and break it down to why it is shit. Um, bro, I'm just gonna tell you this right now. If you'd rather go see Magic Mike, you got some problems. If you'd rather not, if you'd yeah. rather see some naked men glistening and shining, dancing upon women. But the main focus is naked men. You got some problems because and you know drugs, what? You probably know, drugs. You know what? Because I will argue this: although Fifty Shades of Grey is a BD, is a quote unquote BDSM movie, there's still gonna be some titties. Uh, can I can I offer a rebuttal to this? Okay. Okay, I can kind of see what he's getting at with Magic Mike. Because here's the thing that I'm gonna talk about, and it's probably gonna throw everything into like a different direction but here's the thing magic mike is bad and it knows it's bad but it's gonna do that because it's gonna do what it wants it doesn't care if it's shitty or bad like 50 shades of gray it's gonna try and make itself look artsy and shit and try to be appealing in that sense but in the end 
it's romantic. Yeah, it's it's, really it's, scary. it's just, yeah, it's just trash that people can have a fantasy about for like a couple of minutes. It's it's like a quick it's a quick wink. It's like boom, I'm done. Let's go do something else. Oh, by by the way, by the way, guy, um, if you're still watching and or like still a subscriber, and if you go like see whatever you choose, um, don't have sex in the movie theater. You can actually get arrested for that. Yeah. Don't pull a Pee Wee Herman did. Yeah. It's like oh today's sacred word is masturbation. Ah! ah! Today's sacred word is masturbation. Who said the sacred word? <laughs> mecca like a high, mecca holy shit. Mecca like a high, mecca high, gotta fucking hate myself, right? Mecca like a high, I'll no. like your hiney ho. Oh god. But yes, um, <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you, friend, for uh, submitting your rent. And guys, we are just about out of time. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've got a question, if you got a question for the podcast, or if you've got a rent, go ahead and submit it onto our Tumblr page on, uh, Fuck! I don't even know my own fucking page. Give me Black please. Napa One Hundred One. No, no, that's not the that's not the page. I, I don't it's know. Not? No, it's it's not Black Napa One Hundred One. Isn't I, it? Isn't it? Insert witty title here. Hold on, I'm I'm gonna find it. Give me a second. Uh, uh, I'm so professional right now, guys. This is how you know you know I'm professional. Oh God! No, 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 no. Uh, someone stall for time. It's okay, I don't know my... Play a soft keyboard, cat. That's because it won't let me change it. So it's like a bunch of random, like, numbers. Okay, Okay, so go ahead and submit any questions to blacknapa.tumblr.com. And if we like your questions, we'll go ahead ahead and feature you on the show. But just be wary. If we don't like it, we will ignore it. So it was Black Napa. And I will rip you a joke. It's blacknapa.tumblr. Oh, come on. All right, guys. Everyone, sign off. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.